بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson because today we're having grammar so you have to be ready but before we do that let's revise what we previously took in the pair work remember I asked you to think of a joke that you know uh, that involves two people and try to act it out with your friend in front of your uh, class we also took some activities about uh, some jokes that play on sounds in English and maybe play words, for example, what's smarter than a talking cat? We said a spelling B. You see the play here, talking cat or a spelling B. Also the second joke here, what do mice do when they're at home? We said mouse work. So it's close to a play on a housework. And also we said that uh, they make mice cubes in the refrigerator instead of ice cubes. So these are today's objectives. Use the past and present participle as an adjective. Express feelings with past participle. Write a sentence about what causes the feeling. Point out a participle adjective in a sentence. Write a sentence using get plus the adjective or the past participle. Compare using the, the. So we'll be taking a lot today, so you have to pay attention. So let's read here these uh, sentences here. Mark's excited about, uh, b Mark's excited because he's going skydiving tomorrow. Again, Mark's excited because he's going skydiving tomorrow. The second sentence, skydiving is an exciting sport. So we said here, Mark's excited. Who is excited? Mark. So here, the second one, skydiving, is an exciting sport. The adjective here is exciting. What is exciting? So the answer is skydiving. So the first question here, how does Mark feel? You can find the answer here. How does Mark feel? Yes, very good. He feels excited. What's making him feel excited? Why is he excited? So, because he is going skydiving, because he is going skydiving. Excited is a past participle and tells how Mark feels. So, excited is a past participle and it tells us how does Mark feel. On the other hand, exciting is a present participle. It's not a past participle, it's a present participle and it describes the sport of skydiving. So, one is describing how a person feels, how Mark feels. The second one is describing an activity or describing something exciting for the skydiving. Let's read here together past and present participle adjectives. The past participle and the present participle forms of a verb can be used as adjectives. So this is a new information here. Again, the past participle and also the present participle forms of the verb can also be used as adjectives. Past participles genuinely end in ed. That's we know. Past participle mostly end in ed, but can also end in d, t, e, n, or n, and describes how someone feels. So it, it describes how someone feels. For example, the mice were frightened. So this is a past participle here, which acts as an adjective to describe how the mice feel. Or the, as the example before, Marx excited, frightened. So here we are using the past participle to, uh, as an adjective. Again, the mice were frightened of the cat. The second one here, present participle, always end in ing. So it always ends in ing, unlike the past participle, which ends sometimes ed or maybe d, t, e, n, or n. On the other hand, present participle always ends in ing and describes what causes the feeling. What causes the feeling? So one describes, uh, one describes how someone feels. The other one describes what causes this feeling. The cat was frightening. So why were the mice, uh, what causes the uh, feeling of frightened of the, for the mice? The cat. The cat was fri uh, frightening. So again, the present participle always ends in ing and describes what causes the 
feeling. Participle adjectives can appear after be or in front of nouns. Again, can, uh, uh, can appear in front of uh, be. Of course, be here means uh, am, is, are, and so on. Or also in front of nouns. Let's see the examples here. My grandfather's stories about his childhood are amusing. So this is the be here, are amusing. My grandfather's stories about his childhood are amusing. So we're describing the story here. On the other hand, my grandfather tells amu uh, amusing stories, amusing stories. Again, my grandfather tells amusing stories about his childhood. So let's complete these sentences with different participles of your own idea. So you have these uh, sentences. Complete them from what we have learned, the past participle or the present participle of your own ideas. So the first one here, I think that is, are, and so on. I think that is, are, and so on. So let's use some of these words here. Boring, exciting, fascinating, interesting, amazing, and so on. For example, you can say, I think that this lesson is interesting. I think that this lesson is interesting. I think uh, that the football match is boring or was boring and so on. The second one here, when I, I feel. When I, I feel, and this is here the past uh, participle because we have ED, of course, because we have here ED, and this is ING, this is the present participle. When I, I feel uh, bored, excited. For example, when I uh, travel, I feel excited. When I travel, I feel excited. And of course, you have frightened, irritated, amused, and so on. So try to answer these two uh, questions with uh, so many sentences of your own. Continuing here, get plus adjective and get plus participle. So we have two here, get plus the adjective and get plus the past participle. Get before an adjective or past participle suggests that something is changing or starting to happen. So when we put the word get here in front of a past participle or adjective, so it indicates that something is changing, there is something changing, or something is starting to happen. Something is starting to happen. Get in front of adjective or past participle. Get can be followed by an adjective. So the first one, get, can be followed by an adjective. Let's see the examples here. The grasshopper and the snail got impatient. So this is here, got, the past here, got impatient. This is an adjective, of course. Got impatient, waiting for the centipede. The second example, it's almost time for me to give my presentation. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. This, uh, this is a progressive, of course. I'm getting nervous. So got impatient and getting nervous. This is the word get, which comes before an adjective. Of course, because impatient and nervous are adjectives, words that describe how someone is feeling. The other, on the other hand here, get can also be followed by a past participle, which functions as an adjective. So not any past participle, the past participle that functions as an adjective. Let's see the uh, examples here. You should put on sunscreen, you're getting sunburned. You're getting sunburned. As you notice here, the ED, this is a past participle, but we know that it's acting as an adjective. You're getting sun, uh, sunburn. My mother gets worried if I'm not home by 10. My mother gets worried if, uh, if I'm not home by 10. Or for example, if you're visiting your friend and he doesn't have any activities to uh, do there, you say, I'm getting bored. I'm getting bored because as you say to him, things are changing for me. I'm getting bored. I'm becoming uh, bored now. I'm getting bored. Of course, this is the uh, get followed by a past participle.
So just as we did before, complete the sentence with your own ideas, impatient, angry, worried, embarrassed, hungry, scared, and so on. So you can say, I get, for example, I get impatient when I stand in line for a long time. I get impatient when I'm waiting for my food, for example, in a restaurant, and so on. So these are the uses of the uh, past participle that functions as an adjective. Here's a language builder for you. Not all adjectives can be used after get. So this is interesting here. Not all adjectives can be used after get. And there's no easy way to know whether an adjective or a participle can be used in this way or not. For example, a person can get impatient, but not get patient. Again, a person can get impatient, but not get patient. You can get depressed, but not get disappointed. So not all adjectives can come after get, and there's no way to tell which adjective uh, fits to come after get or not. For example, here, you can get impatient, become impatient through time, but you can't get patient, the exact opposite. The other example here, you can get depressed, become depressed, but you can't, got, uh, you can't uh, get disappointed. A list of more common get plus adjective and plus uh, get plus participle expressions. Here are, here's a list of uh, some adjectives that can uh, come after get. For example, here you can see get angry, get big, get busy, get close, get cold, get dark, get dirty, get dizzy, get fat, get full. Also the adjective hot, hungry, late. For example, uh, you're saying with your friends, when you're out with your friends, you say, it's getting late. It's getting late, I have to go home now. Also here we have uh, uh, nervous, old, quiet, rich, uh, sick, sleepy, thirsty, well, and so on. About the past participle here, you can say get acquainted, arrested, bored. You say, I'm getting bored, confused, crowded, uh, get dressed, got, uh, get engaged, excited, frightened, hurt, interested, invited, involved, and so on. So all of, the, uh, all of this here is a list of the, uh, some past participle that can fit after uh, the uh, word get. The, the comparatives. So we have here the lesson here, the, the comparative is used with two comparatives to say that the first thing has an effect on the second. So the, the, the first one has an effect on the second one. This is an easy lesson actually. For example here, the longer the telephone call, the longer the telephone call, the bigger the telephone bill. So again, the longer the telephone call, the bigger the telephone bill. So what makes the telephone uh, bill bigger? What what's the cause here? Because the uh, call was long. So the longer the telephone, the bigger the bill. The funnier the joke, the harder the audience laugh. The funnier, the harder. So the funnier the joke, the harder the audience laughs. The more I get to know my classmates, the better I like them. So why do I like them better? Because I get to know them more. So this is the cause here. And this is here is the effect. The more I get to know my classmates, the better I like them. Many English sayings use this structure, the, the. For example, the more, the merrier. The more, the merrier. When someone asks you, for example, you're having a gathering or a party, and someone asks you, do you want to bring more people? Your answer will be, the more, the merrier. So the more people come, the happier we will be. Or you can say the bigger they are, the harder they fall, or the bigger, the better, the bigger, the better. For example, so when someone asks me uh, if you want to buy a TV, which inch do they, which size do they buy, 50 inch, 60 inch, I always say the bigger, the better. So the bigger TV you buy, the better experience you will have. So this is a cause and the effect. 
Exercise A here, complete the sentences with the present or past participle of the verb in the uh, parenthesis. Number one, number one here, when Jack, found, uh, when Jack found out that he wasn't accepted to his first choice of university, he was, the news was, and the uh, word here is disappoint. So we have to put it in two ways, the present participle or the past participle. Remember something is, a, is describing how someone feels and something else uh, describes the cause of this feeling. So, so how, do, how does Jack feel? He was, yes, disappointed. We used here the past uh, participle because we have an ED here. So the past participle, we use it to describe how, how someone feels. And what causes the feeling? The news was disappointing because he didn't get accepted. Very good. Number two, calling someone by the wrong name is, I did it last week with a new friend and I was terribly, and the word here is embarrass. Again, calling someone by wrong name is, I did it last week with a new friend I to, I, and I was terribly, so calling someone by the wrong name is what? Very good, is embarrassing. I did it last week with a new friend and I was what? Of course, I was embarrassed to call someone by his wrong, by, by not, not his name. Number three, people who talk about themselves all the time are, so we're describing people here. People who talk about themselves all the time are what? We're describing people here. I used to have a friend like that who, me all the time, and the word here is irritate. So when describing people here, we say people who talk about themselves all the time are very good, irritating. We're using the present participle here when describing uh, people. I used to have a friend like that who irritated me all of the time. Very good. Number four. I'm never by noises in the dark. It surprises me that other people think they are, and the word here is frighten, frighten. So we will be writing frightened and frightening. I'm never by noises in the dark. I'm never what? Do I say frightening? Of course not, because I'm describing how I feel. I'm never frightened by noises in the dark. It surprises me that other people think they are very good here, frightening. So we use the past when describing how do I or someone else feels. Number five, many people find winter to be a season. Months of rain and snow can make people feel, and the word here is depress, depress. So many people find winter to be a what season? This is the cause here. Very good, depressing. Months of rain and snow can make people feel what? Describe how people feel. Very good, feel, they feel depressed. And here's a language builder here. The word get is probably one of the most frequently used words in English and has many different meanings. The following are a few of the most common. To receive something, I was happy to get the letter. So get here means that you received something, you received the letter. To arrive in a place, we got home early. So got here means arrived. To understand something, when you say, oh, I get it. So these are different meanings of the word get. To receive something, to arrive in a place, and to understand, uh, to understand something. Exercise B here, complete each sentence with the correct form of get plus an adjective or past participle from the box. So we have some adjectives and past participle here. Confused, dark, dizzy, excited, rich, crowded, dirty, engaged, frightened, and worried. So let's answer the first one here. Giesel was supposed to be home an hour ago. I'm what? So remember, we'll write the word get and it will be followed by either an adjective or a past participle from the box here, of course. So, Giesel was supposed to be home an hour ago. I'm what? 
So the first answer here is I'm getting worried. I'm getting worried. So things are changing. I'm now worried. I'm getting worried. Very good. Number two, I prefer to use the gym early in the morning. Uh, it in the afternoon. I prefer to uh, use the gym, to go to the gym early in the morning. It in the afternoon. So it gets what in the afternoon? Yes, this is an easy one. It gets crowded in the afternoon. Very good. Number three, I and accidentally showed up for the appointment on the wrong day. I and accidentally showed up for the appointment on the wrong day. So I got what? Let's see the answer here. I got confused. I mixed things up and accidentally showed up for the appointment on the wrong day. Excellent. Number four, you know winter is coming when it starts earlier. So what do we write here? You know winter is coming when it starts earlier. So when it starts what? Very good. When it starts getting dark earlier. So the earlier it gets dark, the, the more you know winter is coming. Number five, I think I may have the flu. I'm tired and I'm starting to, to what? Very good, to get dizzy. So he thinks that he has the flu. Number six, Kevin, when he was 24 and was married six months later. So six months later, he got married. So what did he do in the beginning? Very good, he got engaged then uh, when he was 24 and married six months later. Number seven, we're going on a vacation next week. We're about it. We're going on a vacation next week. We're about it. So we're getting what? Yes, getting excited. Always before a vacation, you're getting excited. Number eight, I'd recommend, number eight here, I'd recommend not buying white shoes. They so quickly, so they get what so quickly? White shoes, they get very good, dirty so quickly. That's what we all feel, not buying white shoes because as it says here, they get dirty so quickly. Number nine, setting up your own business is a good way to set the business man. So your own business. So it's a good way to get what? It's a good way to get rich. Number 10, Dale, when he rides the roller coaster at the park. So Dale gets what? Yes, gets frightened when he rides the, lo the roller coaster at the park. Exercise C here, finish each sentence with the the, the comparative. So we'll be finishing each sentence with the, the comparative. The more money I make, the more computer games I buy. If you remember the the, the comparative, the cause, and the effect here, something at what and what causes it. So let's answer here. The more it rains, the what? The more it rains. Of course, you can answer it. You can answer all of these with any sentence from your own idea. The more it rains, the happier I get, for example, or as I have written here, the higher the water level gets in the river. The second one, the better my English gets, the Easier it is to understand English TV shows, of course. The more TV I watch, very good, but I've written here, the less I like it. The earlier the class, the more tired I am. The farther we run, we're talking about distance here. The farther we run, the longer it will take us to get back, of course. The richer you are, when you become rich, the richer you are, the what? You can come up with any sentence as long as it's correct. The more stuff you can buy, of course. The older I get, the older I get, if you get older and older, the less I care about what others think. The more sleep I get, of course, the better I feel. The warmer the weather gets, the warmer the weather gets, so the effect here the nicer it is for swimming, the quicker we work, 
we, when we work quick, so the, the quicker we work, the more we'll finish today. We'll be finishing more and more work, of course. Exercise D here, write a story about the picture on page nine. So open your book on page uh, nine. Use past and present participle adjectives. Get plus adjective, get plus the past participle, and also the, the comparative. So write any story about the picture on page nine and use get plus the adjective, get plus the past participle, and the, the, the comparative. So we can come up with anything. For example, I said, the longer the chase lasts, the more fuel the fugitive's car consumes. So you can see the uh, car chase between the fugitive and the police. Also, I said the people were frightened of the police chase. The police got impatient. The police got impatient with the fugitive and so on. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, insha'Allah. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu ala 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 ala